Pew Research Center is out with some new numbers, and boy, oh boy, are you guys going to like this. Anti-corporate sentiment in the U.S. is now widespread in both parties. Wow. So take a look at the chart here. Um, here, I'll make it, make it a little bit bigger for y'all. Okay. So look at this chart here. Republicans view... Republicans' views of banks' large corporations have become much less positive since 2019. So, look at this, man. In August of 2019, 63% of Republicans had a favorable view of banks and other financial institutions. By the way, how? How the hell was that possible? What? Is it just because, like, Trump was president, and so you assume that, like, I like everything and everybody now because Trump is president, other than the liberals, fuck the liberals, but, like, every institution, I now like it because my guy is the head of the country. Is that it? I don't know. I'm just, you know, spitballing here, but 63%. That's crazy. Okay. Then you have, look, it just plunges all the way down to 38% by October 2022. So just a total implosion of support for banks and financial institutions among Republicans. Um, also, you have 49% of independents supported the banks and financial institutions in 2019. That's now down to 40% today. For Democrats, it was 37% supported banks and financial institutions. And today it is, it's about the same. Yeah, 38%. Wait, 38? No. 41, excuse me. So I don't know why there was a slight uptick in support for institutions. I guess, is it because Biden's president? But it's still roughly the same number as it was. So 37 in 2019, 41% today support banks and other financial institutions. Large corporations, look at this, man. In 2019, 54% of Republicans liked large corporations. Today, that's all the way down to 26%. Independents, 25% today support large corporations. And Democrats... 25% support large corporations. In other words, almost nobody supports large corporations. It's a quarter of the country. It's hard to find a number that low for anything. But we found it for large corporations. Astonishing. Um, and then you have tech companies. This one's interesting too. So, 58% of Democrats, Republicans, and Independents in 2019 supported tech companies. Now, for Republicans, it's down to 40% today. It's 49% for independents, and it's still 58% for Democrats. I guess Democrats, the reason why Democrats might have a more favorable view of tech companies is because it's like, you know, Silicon Valley is, is viewed as like liberal leaning, I guess you could say. And there's this sort of fetish, fetishization of, of tech companies and tech CEOs um, in many liberal elite circles. So maybe that has something to do with it. Um, or you could argue because the, you know, the content moderation policies on a lot of social media outlets uh, are generally more supported by Democrats than they are by Republicans. Republicans obviously talk more about being shadow banned and, and deplatformed and things of that nature, which I do find kind of ironic because there's just as much shadow banning and deplatforming of people on the left, but the left doesn't really talk about it that much. But either way, these numbers are astonishing. All right, so more for you. Small businesses are broadly popular with the public in contrast with large corporations and banks. So small business, 80% of the country has a positive view. The military, 62% of the country has a positive view. By the way, the reason for this, I think, is we live in a, in a, in a culture that really, really props up the military as, as heroes. But also, people generally know somebody who's like, oh, you know, Dave fought in the military. It's their neighbor. It's their friend's nephew or whatever. And so 62% positive view. K-12 to public schools, 55% positive view. So public schools, despite the Republican onslaught against them, very popular in the country. Labor unions, big resurgence for labor union support in recent years. 54% support labor unions. And then look all the way at the bottom here. All the way at the bottom. Large corporations, 25% positive views. Banks, 40%, but massively underwater. 16 points underwater. So again, large corporations and banks and financial institutions, they are the most despised institutions in the country. And for good reason. I think people are correct to have that view. Anyway, so this stuff goes on here. Uh, we don't need to get into all of these different charts, but you guys get the gist of it. Look, um, 
this proves one of the things we've talked about for a long time, which is even though this country is very partisan, very divided, very polarized, um, tearing itself apart over the culture war, all those things are true, but there's a, a little known secret, which is people actually agree on way more than they think they do. When you get into specific issues, you could have a conservative Republican dude and a liberal Democratic woman go, yeah, no, on that we agree. And you see this reflected all the time in the direct ballot initiatives. When you give people a direct vote on things, we saw it in the last election. They voted for higher taxes on the rich in certain states. They voted for legalizing psychedelic drugs. They voted for raising the minimum wage. They voted for health care. So they voted for legalizing weed. So this is how you build bridges. This is how you uh, build a durable politics and lasting coalitions to go issue by issue and then fight on those issues in solidarity with the people who agree with you on that issue. And clearly, anti-corporate sentiment is one of the things that connects almost everybody in the country. And that's a positive thing. Then the next question is, well, what do you do about it? Right? That's the next question. And, um, I mean, the answer is higher minimum wage, unions, better regulations on them, um, cracking down on the price gouging, right? Getting the corporate money out of the political system so that you don't have corporations really running the show. You actually have our representatives listening to the people. That's what you do. That's how you address it. And, um, Honestly, I think people would even agree on those solutions. So it's not just that they're agreeing on the problem here. Corporations, big banks, financial institutions, etc. They would also agree on the solutions, which is a wonderful thing. If you want to see me and Crystal Ball interview legends like Noam Chomsky, Cornell West, and more, subscribe to Crystal Kyle and Friends on Substack. $5 a month gets you the video version a day early. Remember, we take zero ad dollars for this podcast. Or you can sign up on Substack for free and get the audio version a day later. Link in the video description box below.